Hello guys, so in the previous video we have uh, successfully deployed uh, the API to the server so in this video uh, I will continue to show you how to deploy the front-end application the Angular app to the server so it would be a bit different because we don't have the Maven uh, view plugin to create the uh, docker image so we need to provide a docker file so uh, it is quite simple here so let replace this okay so we have nginx and we copy the nginx configuration here actually you don't uh, need to understand this but uh, we are deploying deploying, deploying using nginx so this is uh, a simple configuration nginx listen on uh, port 80 and we copy that config and we copy the dist wallet.ui which will be built by Jenkins and copy this to the root folder of nginx and also this uh, command will uh, replace this placeholder with the view uh, commit with the commit id and the tam view timestamp so we know uh, we we'll look at the lock look at the uh, no the, the source file so this is the comment then we uh, know what commit uh, we are building and I don't want to show this to the end user because uh, it would make uh, a little sense to them so uh, yeah th so that's the that's about the docker file and also uh, in package uh, JSON I have a view prod uh, command here use the configuration to production and in angular.json make sure you have the five replacement here to replace uh, the environment this is the this is the development environment and this is the production environment so i need to come up with uh, a domain name so i showed this this one is available because wallets.online because it's on name chip here so the com is available but uh, the online also available at uh, a tenth of the price so why not uh sure so let's go back to this uh, application and then uh, check if everything is okay i think we need to update no uh, we don't need to update anything so um, finally go to the jenkins file and uh, let's go through the commands so this is uh, not a bit bucket push just delete that so we have some environment variables here so with the deploy command here so yeah similar to that of uh, the API we echo this uh, commit hit commit version uh, environment to this env file and then run the compose app okay so this is on the server go to server and this is the content of the make increase okay uh, hopefully you can see the text clearly so this is the wiki's front end and simple uh, docker compose file with service and we have the container name and make sure we map the tag to the git commit version this will be provided by Jenkins when it writes to this environment file. So that is the deploy command. Uh, I also create a short git commit, uh, getting the first eight character. So this one would uh, would be used in uh, here. The SSH here. Okay. So yeah. So these are uh, simple steps to to view. Uh, here we got run pnpm to view prod here, which is the command in package .json here. So also, uh, yeah, it's kind of simple like that. So um, here, I'm, uh, make sure you configure to your bit uh, your Docker repository using the the credentials configure on Jenkins 
and uh, is uh, view and push this step to the to the Docker uh, to the Docker repository. So this we pass the view arch here equal short commit, and this will be used in the Docker files. So it's uh, kind of simple. And finally, it will run the deploy command to uh, push these changes uh, to, to, to update the deployment on the server. So we have the uh, everything ready. Just uh, let commit everything here. The deployment and push. Okay, but uh, we haven't uh, configured a uh, Jenkins view, so let's do that. So, Picky Wallet front end. Go to dashboard. We're going to create a new view. New item. Okay. So, Picky Wallet front end. And actually, uh, obviously, pipeline. Okay. And go to GitHub. Wallet UI and uh, make sure I go to settings, go to webhook, and this one doesn't have a webhook uh, install, so we need to define the webhook here. HTTPS GK. Let me just copy this one to avoid any confusion. GitHub. But hook that is correct. Let me check. Double check to make sure. Uh, okay, repository wallet API settings. Okay, GitHub webhook actually is correct, but let's copy and paste here. Okay, add a webhook. And leave everything as default. Make sure to change this to application.json and add the webhook. Okay. Okay. So go back to our configuration. And this is a GitHub project. We copy this error. And then uh, check this one. And also uh, get the the, the uh, pipeline from the git so git and repository URL would be the HTTPS version here okay select git this uh, is configured in Jenkins and uh, the branch should be main okay script path correct and we click on save now everything is ready we need to trigger the view manually the first time so click on view now the view is running guys okay, everything seems to be working and it's expected this will take a while because this is the first build. So let's uh, click on this to view the lock. Yeah, pnpm install is running. So I will um, skip this part to save some time. I went back when the view is complete. And you see that the deployment is uh, is updating, and hopefully it uh, will be successful. And the deployment is successful. So let's go to our server. Yes. And sure enough, it is 11 seconds ago. And let's check the lock. Okay. So it is started. But we uh, cannot access this because uh, we haven't configured the domain. But before, um, go ahead and buy the domain. 
I want to uh, trigger the view automatically if possible. So uh, let's add some line here. Test auto build and push. I go back to Jenkins. Yeah, and try to reload because. Uh, yep. Okay. It seems uh, there's a, a new build here, but it said no change. Actually, it's uh, there's on commit. And you can see that the build uh, on uh, Angular. Uh, also trigger automatically on git push so that is uh, we have done working with the Jenkins pipeline to view API and also the front end so in the next video um, I will be that will be the final video I will uh, be building uh, buying the domain and uh, redirect uh, the domain to our app so we can access uh, it in the uh, over the internet. Also, uh, there's some uh, extra configuration to do with uh, Auth0. So, see you in the next video.